Hi, Grade 5. Today we're going to talk about a new strategy we can use when we are doing division. So let's imagine I'm dividing the number 7 divided by 243. So when I have 7 divided by 243, I know that division is repeated uh, subtraction. So I could do 243 minus 7 minus 7 minus 7 minus 7 and going and going and going. But we know that that's not efficient. So what I'm going to show you today is another way to do division that is like long division, but will make you understand how groups work. So the first thing we do is we write out our question, 7 divided by 243. Now we have our question. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you've got a line that draws down, because this is where you're going to collect your groups of 7. Now, I know that 7 needs to fit into 243 without going over, because that's how it's going to tell me how many groups I have altogether. Well, what my big thing is, I always try to think of a friendly number I know that I can subtract from 243 that works out easily. And my things is always 10s, 5s, 20s, 30s. So I'm going to start out with 10. Now the key to this is I'm going to do 10 I'm going to take 10 groups of 7 away from 243. So 7 times 10 is 70 and I'm going to take that away from 243. So once I've taken 10 sevens away I know that becomes 14 that becomes 1. 14 minus 7 is 7. And that becomes 1. So now I know that after I've taken 10 groups of 7 away, I have 173 left. But I still have 173 to remove. Well, this time, instead of using 10, I'm going to double that. Because I know that double 70 is 140. And I know that I can take 140 from 173. So I'm going to actually take 20 groups of 7 away this time. I subtract 20 groups of 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 20 is 140. If I take that away, I now have 33 left. Sorry, I had to continue doing that. So now I know that 7 times 20 is 140. And now when I subtract, I see that I have 33 left over. Now I need to think of what can I multiply 7 by that fits into 33. Well, I know 7 times 2 is 14, so I'll just take 14 away. So if I take 14 away, I can't do 3 minus 4, so I have to borrow, so that becomes a 2, and that becomes 13. 13 minus 4 is 9. 2 minus 1 is 1. I have 19. Does 7 fit into 19? It does. I'm going to take it two more times. 7 times 2 again is 14, with 5 left over. Does 7 fit into 14, or does 7 fit into 5? Well, it most definitely does not. So this becomes my remainder. This is what I have left over. Five left over. But how many groups did I have? Well, remember, these on this side here are our groups. So I did 10, 20, 2, and 2. Well, if I add those up, 10 plus 20 is 30, plus 2 is 32, plus 2 equals 34 whole groups of 7 with a remainder of 5. So if anybody ever asks you what is 243 divided by 7, you would know it is 34 remainder 5. I want you guys to try and use this friendly number strategy, and we're going to practice this, okay? Good luck.